Hello everyone. I am Ashok. You are watching AI with Ashok. Life cycle of machine learning project development. First question. What is machine learning life cycle? A machine learning life cycle is a cyclic process to build an efficient machine learning project. And the main purpose of this life cycle is to find a solution to the problem by giving intelligence to the machines artificially by means of machine learning. The most important thing in the complete life cycle is to understand the problem and to know the purpose of the problem. So before starting with any life cycle of a machine learning project, first we need to understand the problem because the good results only depends on the better understanding. Basically, if we want to give an answer to a question, first we need to understand the question better. So understanding the problem is the most important thing in the life cycle of machine learning project development. In the complete life cycle process, we want to solve your problem through machine learning algorithms or machine learning techniques or any other way. We have to create a machine learning system called model, which is a machine learning model. And this machine learning model is created by providing training. But to train a model, we need some data. No, we need more data. More and good data will only build a better machine learning model. So to train a model, we need data. So the life cycle of machine learning project development life cycle starts by collecting data. So the first step in the machine learning development life cycle is data collection. What is data collection and what we will do in data collection? The main goal, the ultimate aim of this data collection is to identify the data sources that we need to understand the problem and to train the model and to obtain all data related problems. This is the first step in machine learning project development life cycle. And in this step, we do collecting the data from various sources. Basically, there are two kinds of data sources. One is internal source. If we collected the data from the working industry itself, then it is called as internal source. If we collected the data from outside the industry or outside the organization, then it will be called as external. Data can be collected from any sources relevant to the working problem. So the working problem only will decide the what kind of data and what data we need to collect. So for that, we must understand the problem and we need to understand the need of the client. And these two will decide the data collection source. Two things are important in data collection. One is quantity of data. The more the data, the better the model. So if we want to give you a better model. We must collect more data. We need to concentrate on two things while collecting the data. One is quantity, which we have already discussed. And the second thing is quality. So both quantity and quality of the collected data will decide or will determine the performance of the machine learning model. So the more will be the data, the more accurate will be the prediction. More and more data, more and more good results. Just increasing the quantity of the collected data won't improve the model's performance. And just increasing the quality of the collected data won't increase the model performance. So both quantity and quality is important. We have to both concentrate on both quantity and quality while collecting data. So the both quantity and quality of the collected data will improve the model performance. For example, there is an architecture who is constructing a building. While constructing a building, he doesn't do straight away start from the ground. The first thing he will do is planning of the building. The second thing he will do is he have to give the better base to the building. So better the basement, then the life of the building will be increased. So the first basement step is data collection. We need to concentrate more on this part and we need to collect more quantity of data. And at the same time, we need to collect the quality data. So both quantity and quality is the basement of the machine learning project life cycle. This will decide the machine learning performance. And if we step back in this data collection step, then the whole project life cycle collapse. So we need to concentrate more on this data collection part and we need to collect more quantity and more quality data. So more quality data will even better machine learning algorithm won't improve the models. Even we can use any boosting algorithms. It won't work. It won't work with quality less data. We need to collect more quality data. If we have more quality data, then the simple algorithm itself have the better performance in data collection to concentrate on more quality data. This is the first we have to note more quality data. This is the first step of machine learning life cycle data collection. Some of the data collection sources are websites. In website, we will collect data from those websites using web scrapping techniques. Literally, if we use Python as a tool for programming and coding, then we will go with some web scrapping libraries present in Python such as Beautiful Soup, Selenium and many more libraries are there. And we can use those libraries for retrieving or collecting data from websites. And this is one of the source which we can collect data. 
and there are some other data which is a past examples which we have collected in our industry from the past years and these are all some data collection example and how we can collect data from various then our second step in the machine learning project development life cycle is data preparation after collecting the data we need to prepare it for further steps mostly the collected data will be in unstructured format so in this data preparation step we will make those unstructured data into a structured data which we can proceed it with the further steps and making it suitable for using in next steps of life cycle in this step first we put all data together from which we have collected from various sources and we put all those data together in a single we will combine all data in single data and then we will randomize the ordering of the data because let us have an example we we will collect data from database we will collect data from website we will collect data from various files we have used in the previous years and these data will be present as a single set single set single set for example we are collecting data from websites files and databases we have to combine those data and we mix all those for example let us have data with 1000 rows in which we have collected first 5000 rows from websites and then next 300 rows from database and then last then last 200 rows from files and if we want to split the data into training set and test set we need to mix all those data so train set must contain both all three data and the train set must contain the data from website data from files and data from database and the test set also must contain all so three sources of data and the validation set also must contain all three sources and for that purpose we will randomize the ordering of those and the data preparation step is further divided into one is data exploration and the second one is data pre processing in data exploration it is used to understand the nature of data what is the basic idea of the data and wait what is the basic nature of data and what we have to work with we need to understand the characteristics format and the quality of the so as we discussed in the previous step with data collection part quality of the data plays the main model performance so we need to explore the data and we need to analyze the characteristics format and the quantity and these are all the exploration process which we have do in the data and then next is understanding of data we need to understand the data to provide a effective outcome in this data exploration we will find correlation of features of the data if we understand the feature correlations we can easily understand the data what and what are, and what are all the characteristics and what are all the format and how quality the data is. all these questions can be answered from the correlation of feature so the correlation of feature will give us the better understanding of the data if we want to prepare a better machine learning model it is not like collecting data just to preparing the data just pre processing the data just choosing five or six models and then comparing those performance and then uh, taking the model with the better accuracy it not like that we have to understand the data and then and we need to decide the machine learning algorithm at the end be better perform model so this data preparation step is the important step to know about the data and know more features and then this will give us more idea on collecting various data and this data preparation this data exploration step will give us the basic trends of the data and the outlays of the data and these are all the important things to be noted on the data preparation step generally this will make you more knowledgeable on the domain and this will make you more knowledgeable person on the domain and then the third step of machine learning project development life cycle is data wrangling data wrangling is the process of cleaning and converting raw data into usable format we convert all raw data cleaning those data to be used in next step and it will be converted to usable format the data wrangling is the process of cleaning the data selecting the variables we will do feature selection in data rank the feature selection will under data wrangling step so in data wrangling step we will do data clean feature selection and transforming the data into proper format because the computer will understand only zeros and so for that we need to convert all string data and other kind of image data and audio data b data or text data all other data all te- all data will be converted in numerical format and those process will be done in the data wrangling step it is one of the most important steps of the complete life cycle as we need more quality data we need to cleaning we need to clean the data to remove the unquality data it is not necessary that data we have is always of our use 
as some of the data may not be used. In real world application, corrected data may have various issues including missing values, duplicate data, invalid data, noise, missing and many more issues. So we need to point out those issues and we need to use various filtering techniques in the data. For example, we will use KNN imputing strategies to fill the missing values and if we have two data because we are collecting from various the same data can be present in both database and uh, remove the duplicate data which is repeated which can cause bias to the machine it is mandatory to detect and remove the error so the performance of the may negatively affect the quality of the outcome and then the fourth step in machine learning project development life cycle is data analysis now the cleaned and prepared data is passed on the analysis step the aim of this step is to build a machine learning model to analyze the data using various analytical techniques and review the outcome. It starts with the determination of the type of the problem where we select the machining techniques such as classification, regression, cluster analysis and we need to decide what kind of machining technique we need to use problem such as it may be like class kind of problem is a classification or this problem is a regression or this is a clustering analysis and then building the model prepared data and evaluating the model. The fifth step of the machine learning development life cycle is training the model. Now in this step we will train the model to improve its performance for better outcome. Of we use data sets to train the models in various machine learning techniques. We have data analysis step and we will pick up the better performing those at data analysis and we will use that machine learning of the complete data which we have at that point of time and then we will also work on tuning the hyperparameters and for giving the better outcome we need to train a model so that it can understand various patterns hidden in the data and then rules to make the decision and prediction then the next step is testing the model once our model have been trained in given data set then we have to test the model with the test which we have not given to the machine learning algorithm while training and we have kept it safe separately to test the model if the test results are fine it will be goes to next if the testing of the model is not again goes for data analysis and then again analyzing the data and then again we will have to train the model if the model has better accuracy in this test set then it will be go for next step the next step which is the seventh step in learning development life cycle deployment in this step of machine learning life cycle we will deploy the machine learning model in the real world so both good prediction and will decides the performance of the machine and then the last step is monitoring we will monitor on the real world it will not stop here itself it will also learn from future data and then again it can again it will go for training and then testing and then deployment so this step is a cyclic process hope you understand about the different life cycle steps in machine learning project development if you like this video please do like and share this and if you want support me please do subscribe to my channel thank you thank you for watching